Tonight, there is growing concern nationwide about the impact of PFAS. Good evening, I'm Casey Getz. And I'm Rebecca Pepin. The so-called forever chemicals are found in everything from nonstick cookware to firefighting foam to water-resistant clothing and are known to increase the risk of cancer. News 5's Caleb Perney joins us live from our Johnson City newsroom to explain how the concern has shifted from our water to our food. Caleb. The concern comes from wastewater biosolids often used for fertilizer. There's no federal limit on the chemicals in biosolids, but this week Tennessee will consider whether to continue applying them to farmland. Nationwide testing of drinking water found PFAS was either undetectable in our region or far below the four parts per trillion limit. The EPA has not tested wastewater biosolids nor imposed any rules. But the environmental group, the Sierra Club, says its testing in the Thomas Creek area of Bristol found those biosolids had PFAS at 1.2 million parts per trillion. There are high levels of PFAS in the soil where the biosolids that had been applied. At the same time, we sampled a well that was is adjacent to that field where the biosolids were applied, and we found that the groundwater was contaminated. Thursday in Nashville, state officials will consider whether to continue allowing biosolids to be used on farmland. Sierra Club leaders plan to be there and hope you'll weigh in. It's critical that the public make their their stance known make their um and comment on this permit and the renewal and the impacts that they see it comes amid concern about biosolids nationwide a new york times article this week highlighted the impact on farms in michigan and texas and a farmers association in maine is joining a lawsuit against the epa for failing to impose rules the lawsuit outlining impacts, including one farmer's animals and pets, dying in alarming numbers. Both the association and Maine have set up funds to try to keep farmers in business. What can one actually do? Uh, it was my understanding that once you've got PFAS, it's, it's there forever. Is that not the case? No, it is the case. Perhaps you own, you know, couple hundred acres and you've got 40 in the back that are that are polluted and that means you need to transition and stop producing uh, crops on that ground. They say Maine first noticed the impact on dairy farms in 2016. Since then, 70 farms have been impacted and five shut down. It's nothing less than a crisis for our Maine farmers and I'm worried about what's coming for the rest of the country. Now, we reached out to both Bristol, Tennessee and BVU Authority, who jointly own the wastewater plant in Bristol. We'll get you their response once we receive it. Live in the Johnson City Newsroom, Caleb Purney, News 5, WCYB.